A. Here we're looking for x-intercepts and y-intercepts. So our x-intercepts and our y-intercepts. I'm going to switch colors here. So for x-intercepts, we're looking along the x-axis and seeing where our line crosses. And I don't see anywhere that it's crossing. In fact, it looks parallel to the x-axis, so there's not going to ever be any x-intercepts, so none. Now for the y-intercepts, I can see we do cross the y-axis at one point, and so I'm going to count 0 in the x direction and then 1, 2, 3 in the y direction. So 0, 3 for my y-intercept.